Welcome to my full van tour video. My name is Willem and if you're new here, I've just converted my own Volkswagen Transporter in only three months with no experience as I've quit my job and I'm now going to travel around Europe living in my van and pursuing my dreams. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the video. Right, here we are. This is going to be my van tour. Um, after months and months of hard work, endless tears, recuts, budget jobs, winget jobs and a lot of stress, finally done. So this is gonna be my complete van tour from start to finish with no prior experience, all done with myself, with a little bit of help from my family and friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we are now at the front of the vehicle. We really haven't done too much here. We fitted the swivel base, which spins around and allows me to open up the back. Other than that, we just added a few plants for decorative touches. I uh, put a mount for my 360 camera uh, and just some basic things really, just tidied it all up. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the rest of the van. Right, so here we are now at the back of the van. This is where it gets a little bit more exciting, where a lot of changes have happened if you watch the previous videos. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into what I've done. So first things first, we have changed the floor. So we've now got a vinyl floor in here, which has all been fitted by myself. We put a little kick step in there, a nice little mat. The cabinets themselves are like an L-shaped cabinet with just like a basic lip on them to stop stuff rolling off. Um, where all the electrical system lives is down here. So the electrical system all lives into this uh, cabinet here. So in there we've got things like my clip-on fan, some tools, uh, my leisure battery and a BIM. We then have my electrical system. This is a basic kind of marine uh, camper van electric panel with working USB switches. 12 volt socket on the left and then switches for the interior lights so should I need to use them. What I decided to do was to put some basic gear that I'll be using quite regularly such as my uh, trekking backpack so this is my 30 litre I've also got a 43 litre in the back I just thought I'd attach this by carabiners to the back of my chair uh, that way I can just basically uh, access it whenever I want as well as my climbing helmet. Underneath the bed we have a storage option here which is access to my water um, just some bungee cords on there just to stop that from sliding around. We then have a camping chair uh, and this is then accessible from the back. We then also have a storage space for my broom and my trowel for you know what. Um, just keep that accessible very easily from the inside of the van. Right, so to show you how the bed works, first of all we need to take this mat, put it out of the way, fold it in half and also move this draft excluder. And then I'm just gonna have to pop you down for a second to show you the rest. Okay, so the way that the bed works, very simple. You simply unhitch this little catch there and then you drop that down. And then what you do is simply get a hold of the uh, fixed uh, adjustable slats, slide that all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. <sighs> we then have to do is take one of the mattresses, which is underneath here, and slide it out from the top of the other one. I'm sure there's an art to this, but at the moment I do not know that art. And then it's just a case of arranging the bedding. So now that the bedding has been sorted, it's just shy of a double bed in terms of width and length. So my duvet will fit on there nicely, um, and then it just packs away the opposite way. So that'll be nice and cozy then at night when I'm sleeping. So this is what the bed looks like, fully uh, extended from the back of the van. And what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna put the van away and then show you some more. Right, so I'm not gonna lie to you, that's gonna take a bit of practice because that time lapse made it look quick. Let me tell you now, that was a bit of a ball ache. So, with a bit of practice, I've got six months of practice anyway, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Right, so here we have now the back of the van, and this arguably is my favourite part of the van. Let me show you about it now. So first of all, just overlapping the bed, we've got some nice decorative plants, my coffee maker, and some other little bits, just give it that homely features. We've then got my outdoor, I don't know what you'd call it, bathroom area. Coat hangers for all my uh, uh, coats. Right, so this is the outside area. So this is my favorite bit about the van. And I'm gonna show you why quickly enough. So first things first, 
it doubles up as a kind of an outdoor bar. So you get in here, you take your camping chair out, you put your camping chair down by the actual cabinets, and then on here you've got the pop out cup holders, bottle opener, bish bash bosh. Second thing, now this is one of my favourite things as well, this is the slide out kitchen area. So you pop these two locking cabinets, you open this all day up, so it clicks. If you that open, you've got access to your spices, move this around like this, and then what you can quickly do, put that on there, move that around, and then very quickly we have the cooking area all set up underneath the tailgate so it's protected from the rain, and just like that we can cook outside. So tonight, my first night in the van, well my first night on this tour, uh, I'll be cooking out here, so excited for that. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the van tour. Uh, there'll be lots more content coming when I get away. Um, but this is just to wrap up all the past months of um, building the van. Um, I'll show you some nice little features and little things that I've done to the van uh, as we go along. But if you're interested in your vans and your travels, then follow the page because I'm now setting off on my own around Europe um, and hopefully there'll be plenty more videos to come. So take care and we'll see you on the next one. And if you have any questions or queries about the build or anything you'd like to know, just leave the comments below. I'm sure to be getting back to you soon.